Nice little white in. Not a bad size on it actually, especially off here. Normally they're smaller. So I've, I've had a pouting and a white in now. Hi guys, welcome back to Evermore Explore. We're out today for a lure session, doing something a little bit different to bait fishing. Uh, not expecting much as it's January, um, but that's pretty much what the plan is today, isn't it, Chris? Yeah, so basically, um, a minute ago, we'll show you on the footage, uh, over your bass spot, you check out the other video. Literally just down there. There on the tip of the rod. That's it, yeah, if you check it out, awesome, awesome video, by the way. Yeah, so basically now we're moving locations down to a place called Codgy Point, our local area. Um, we're going to basically you see these rocks down here. We're going to try and scale the area. And basically, a lot of bass come in. You can see uh, it's a mental feeding ground here for the fish. Even gars, there's a lot of uh, bird life out at the moment feeding. Yeah, just off far off the bay here, there's a, there was uh, shoals of uh, seagulls diving down and stuff. Um, but as you can see, it's a lovely location, lovely day. The reason of moving, like Chris said, though, we've got a north northwest wind, and just where we were, it was just coming over too much. You couldn't keep a lure down uh, in the water, but over here, it'd be right behind us. Yeah. So and every time, basically, I chuck the uh, Dexter wedge out, you chuck it, the wind will take the line, and it won't even go to the bottom. It's pointless. So we tried a bit more shallow, and you can get out there, get you know, get deeper, a bit deeper, and get the get the fish on the bite. Yeah. Right. Well, we will hopefully catch you on a fish soon. That was a big one, that one. <laughs> So the fishing wasn't very great on the north coast at all. So the little cinematic footage I showed you a minute ago was the best clips we've had on that day. Uh, every time we chuck the line out, the line basically, the wind would take it, it wouldn't work at all. So then what we tried, we went down the south coast in the evening and yeah, a few fish turned up. Cheers and gob. Right guys, we're at a new location. Um, we're after whiting, uh, flatty or possible bass, hopefully. Uh, it's a nice, basically, little flat bay in our local area. This bay we've gone down to the south instead of the north coast this time. If this doesn't work out, we'll try the pier. Um, hopefully, not to blank. <laughs> hopefully, the pier will save the blank. Yeah, hopefully, it will do, yeah, because that's how I had a dogfish off there. Well, there's a chap here a minute ago, he had a whiting uh, earlier on in the evening. But... Yeah. So hopefully it pays off. Okay, yeah. we'll get back to you in a minute. Hopefully the fish. Cheers to gone. So guys, um, we've just left the spot that you just saw us at. We're coming up to our local spot on the pier now, just to avoid the blank and to give you guys some fish because obviously that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So basically, we come here um, on the session with that dogfish. How we know this fish here? Whiting, whiting, pouting, doggies, probably even uh, a couple of small pollock now. Maybe, yeah. yeah maybe even a bass. Possible, who knows? who knows, yeah, it's one of those spots, you just yeah, don't know sorry, what you're going to catch. Right then guys, first fish of the session, nice little pouting. 
Um, you can tell by these, like, see these little beards on them, they're beauties, aren't they? Um, so yeah, one fish, not a blank, and we'll get back to you as soon as we get some more. Cheers, Cheers. to God! Right guys, nice little white in, nice little white in, not a bad size on it actually, especially off here, normally they're smaller. So I've, I've had a pouting and a white in now. Sorry yeah. about the wind noise guys, it is a bit windy here tonight, we got a gust about 37 miles an hour coming across the west way, so, alright, we'll get this guy back and uh, hopefully some more fish. Cheers and God! Yeah, so guys, as I was, uh, my rod went mad, as I was reeling in, the actual handle snapped off. <laughs> but she is so old kind of like just, that. yeah, it's a bit... I don't know if I thought it was all right, actually. Is it still on there? Yeah. Might have been on oh, here. Yeah. It was kicking for a bit, wasn't it? No, I've never heard if you actually reeled like that before. <laughs> yeah, but it's an old Shakespeare though, isn't it? Well guys, the fish might still be there. Yeah, you never know. Right guys, we're at the uh, end of the session now. We've had one uh, nice white in and one pout in. Not too bad. And we had basically a few little bites on the corner over there. I think it was mackerel. And once well, you had a few... Yeah, I, 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 I missed a few uh, good bangs, but, but uh, managed to pull the fish out in the end. But there were four other anglers here. Um, one had a mackerel and the other guys were pulling out a little conger over the wall here. Hmm. Um, but over and all, I mean, it's been a long day, uh, north to south. Didn't blank on yourself, thank God. And that's the end of this session. I hope you enjoy the video. Yeah, and like and subscribe. Right. Cheers, Cheers and go on.